What's up, YouTube? We back again. Another reaction. Airplay Beats, La and Chi. And today we reacting to Yes, Close to the Edge. And so they say if we want to see what Yes is about, this is the one. Let's yep. go. And didn't you say um, you found out we, uh, th that we do know a Yes song? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to mention the song that we do know from Yes. I said my lady told Blew me. my mind. Uh, I, I, I showed my brother which song it was, and he's like, absolutely Yes. Yeah, so I know. We, I know. We, we knew we was... Didn't know we was listening to Yes, but we do know one of their big hits. Yeah, but uh, here we go, close to the edge. Oh, this is early. Mm starting to formulate now i can hear what's going on now at first it sounded sound like everyone was soloing at once but i can hear uh a groove going on i'm right a now. little bit behind you because i still haven't caught you the haven't caught it yet, yet? nah yeah, i still well, hear i just still hear a whole bunch of sounds watch check it out a whole bunch of sounds just check it out watch there. okay <laughs> Caught that. <laughs> Got it now.
face it up again. into the bass line for a minute there i got i was lost, lost until the groove changed the first time and then it went to a whole nother groove but the lead singers bring it all home to me oh it sounds great the, vo the lead vocalist brought it all home and i see where they're going with it yeah but i, I was that bass had me i have zoned a lot out. Of, yeah <laughs> i have a lot of questions about this at the end i'm gonna let y'all know because this Man, is this is this is crazy but i love the, the, their lead singer is amazing they don't follow any rules like i said no before. that's that's one of my questions like go and ahead sound listen to the sound of that bass is real crunchy no what about that the, it, it sounds like a it's just like a keep a keyboard like it's a crazy sound like an organ? You know, I always called it the clavicle or something, but it, <laughs> and they said that's a bone. So, what's, what's the right word for it? <laughs> you, I, you know I, what sound when you're yeah. on a keyboard? There's a word for there's a word that says that. Yeah, I forgot the word. Now you got a clavicle stuck in my head, but um, yeah, I can yeah, hear that. To the bass, though, I love that sound. Yeah, but, yeah. Leaving all the changes far from far behind. We relieve the tension only to find out the master's name Down at the end, round by the corner Close to the edge, just by the river Seasons will pass you by I get up, I get down Hear the bass, and you rocking. Bass is rock time. He's <laughs> done. They said, boys, it's time to go to the studio today. They it was excited to get up in there. And they probably could have, it might have been a week before they've been back to the studio, so they let it all hang Man, out. I the know day this was fun. Like, you know, the days when we went to the studio and it had been a week or two because we had something to do yeah, yeah, out of town. You can't, or, wait to, <laughs> you can't wait to get back in. No, they had they let blast. it all hang out. Um, and now I've caught up to the bass because I was, first of all, the whole sound of the song was, it had me thinking and listening to other parts, but yes, the bass is, is riding. Man. Yeah, he riding. Down at the end, close by a river, close to the edge, round by the corner. Close to the end, down by the corner, down at the edge, round by the river. Switch 
messed up the timing again. Sudden call shouldn't take away the startled memory. All in all, the journey takes you all the way. As apart from any reality that you've ever seen and known. Guessing problems only to deceive a mention. Passing past the time I play into the void. As we cross the like interludes in the middle of the song. Yeah. Are you, are you sure this is one song? <laughs> Man, I think so.
this kind of reminds me of, but the the ambiance and the interludes of this record remind Pink me. Pink Floyd? Oh, sorry. Pink Floyd. Yes. Pink yes. Floyd. Pink Floyd. Yeah. It reminds me of Pink Floyd. Yeah. But he has Pink Floyd because they got a lot of ambiance in the, in the, um, they said this is the interludes are crazy. Like yeah, they said this is their version. Of the echoes when we saw them do at the um yeah at the Coliseum. Oh, this is their version. That's what they said. That's what it reminds. Me, ah, that's what it reminds me of. Mm-hmm. And I would. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, this reminds me of Pink it's, Floyd. It's real similar. It reminds me of Pink Floyd. Like this, absolutely. It sounds like we're listening to a whole album on one song. Yeah, one side of it, like maybe five songs on one album. That's how it feels to me. Maybe this is, I don't know what's going on, if this is one song or not. Okay. But we'll see. Floyd was their favorite band, or vice versa.
I've never heard nothing like this. That was complete. Is this before Pink Floyd? I don't know, man. Because it it, it gave me Pink Floyd vibes as far as the uh, the sound effects. Just all the futuristic sounds. The futuristic sounds, and mm -hmm. but the sound effects that because you know they were good with their interludes yeah. and sound effects. Like that was the first like five, I've heard. five different, six, seven different grooves. But then they always bring it back to one little familiar piece. That sounded like a whole side of an album, not That's just what one it song. Because like, it was eighteen minutes. So, so if you buy that that is one that groove album. In there. That's just a long, just one group, <laughs> one group for the whole side of an album. Let That's us what know. It seems like is that yeah. one uh, one side of the album? Because it sounds or like are there more songs after this? Group? Yeah, because that sounds like five would, different records. That yeah, would take up the whole record, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, they caught me on some. They didn't catch me on some. They caught me on the other one. Like it's, it's that is that is a crazy song right there. And I have one question before I let you go. One question: What when you when y'all say that uh, progressive rock? What is that compared to uh, classic rock or just rock? I know what heavy metal is. I know what that's about. But when when you say progressive rock, what does that mean? Because I don't know. They say they're the first for the progressive, progressive rock. rock, but I don't I don't know what that is. I don't know the difference. I don't know. I don't either, man. Yeah, ex explain that to us. But uh, yeah, let us know. My my brain is always perplexed after listening to them. Like my. I, I'm, all these time changes, beat changes. <laughs> but that was like player, listening. Though, that was like five songs in one. But the bass player, I definitely locked into him early on. I locked into him pretty much the whole way. And that get up, I get down part. I love that part. Uh, man, I love that part. And then the, um, that one part too, where the uh, background singers were kind of calling echo. I love when the background of the band was back uh, doing the background vocals. I love that part. That was hard. Mm hmm. A uh, crazy song. I don't even. I can't even describe this. Really, I'm just. That's what we said on the last. Kind of blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, but. my mind's blown. I don't know. I don't know. But explain progressive rock as opposed to the other genres of rock, except for I know what heavy metal is. I like. I know what that means. Yeah, please explain this one. But um, yeah. yeah, send them on over. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and we up out of here.